Hey guys, what is up? Beckward Jack here, bringing you another Bulls tutorial. So today we're going to be going over the fission reactor. And as you can see, I have a system set up, but I will be showing you how to build this system uh, in just a minute right here. I just want to show you what's happening right now. So we have three bat boxes right here. Oh, I've been letting them run for probably three minutes now, and they're already full. And I only put in one uranium rod. Now I'll be teaching you about all this stuff in one second. So yeah, we just have this system right here. It's generating electricity, and uh, it's really efficient in my opinion. So uh, I'm going to show you how to build this right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, dig a 3x3 three three hole. And dig two down right there. You're going to need a sticky piston. Pretty sure everyone knows how to make that. And then, what was that? Hello? God? Never mind. But anyway, you're just going to want to dig down to one block beneath the sticky piston. And then we need some redstone. So you're going to need redstone right there. And then you're going to need it to come out. And then we're just going to have to get rid of some of this. And I just like to have mine wrap around. Uh, what's the, right here. And then you're going to have it go in, um, let's see, bring it out one, just like that. And then you're going to dig one block down right here and leave it just like this. So that'll be a system for right now. I mean, I think I'm supposed to have it like that. Yeah, that looks about right. And then we're going to need some dirt to fill some of the things back in. So we'll put some dirt. We need dirt uh, right there, right there. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. So next thing we're going to need is a control rod. Now this is something new. This is just two iron ingots. Once you have that, you're just going to place it right on top of the sticky piston. This will control uh, when the fission reactor gets too hot. It will um, activate by a thermometer and then uh, it'll turn it off. So the next thing that we're going to put down is the thermometer. This is how you make a thermometer. Not too hard, just steel. And um, this is just a minecart, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what unnamed is. I'm pretty sure that's a minecart, I guess. Anyway, so yeah, you're going to put a thermometer right here and uh, right click it until this goes down to about uh, 1600. That's uh, safe for me because I've tried 2000, um, 1800, all those other numbers because it actually will explode when uh, the f fission reactor hits 2000. So this is just a safe one for me and it, uh, it did generate lots of cool power. What is this? Oh yeah, this stuff will start to happen. It'll start to contaminate everything. But you can just always destroy that. It's not too hard. Uh, and um, also, before you start building this, you're going to need a hazmat suit or else you will start dying of radiation poisoning. So to make this, same recipe for everything. It's just steel on the top, steel on the bottom, and a basic circuit or control circuit, and leather, uh, whatever material it is. So if it's, this is uh, the hazmat masks, That'll uh, be a leather cap, this will be like the leather pants, and then the leather boots, and the leather chest. That'll be uh, all the same. And the next thing we're going to put down is the fission reactor itself. This is motors on the corners, steel plates on the sides, nothing in the middle, advanced circuits. And uh, yep, we'll just put that down, right here in the center, doesn't really matter. Okie dokie. And next we're going to go back um, to the design. I mean, you could use any block you want. You can make this anywhere. This is uh, as compact as I can get it. You're going to want to surround your 3x3 three three hole right here with um, another layer of dirt because you're going to be filling it up with water in just a second. So yeah, we have it like that. And then um, at one of the corners, uh, I like this corner opposite of the redstone, you're going to dig down two blocks just like that so you can have access to uh, your fission reactor. And then you're going to just put down some water all over the place. Make sure uh, it's nice and even. And then we put some on top. Just like this, uh, you're gonna need lots of buckets. Uh, where else did I not put it? There, there, there. Let me just fill this in just so I can get it all even. And then right there. And then after you've done that, you could just get this out again. So it's just like that. So you can put your uranium rods in there, which we'll get to in a second. So now that you have this whole system set up, you are going to want to set up your reactor turbines. And these are made with bronze plates on the side and a motor in the center. And you are going to need nine of them. So make sure you have nine. And uh, after you do have your nine, 
you're going to place them down like this. So I'm just placing that down to get them in the middle. I'm going to place down over top of the 3x3, three three, which is, uh, equals up to 9. And yeah, you're going to leave them like that. You can, um, I believe, uh, right click them with a wrench and they'll become one giant reactor turbine. But um, it says on the wiki that it does not generate as much electricity if they're all individual. So I just like to keep them individual. And then next thing you're going to need is some, uh, any sort of wire. It doesn't really matter. I just use silver wire. It's my favorite. It looks cool. Nice and white and black. You're going to hook that up. And then you're going to bring it out from the front. Just like this. And then uh, this is where you're going to need your battery boxes. This is how you make a battery box. If you do not know, steel ingots. Batteries in the center. Batteries are just tin, coal, and redstone. Not too difficult. So I like to set up uh, three different battery boxes, and always remember, red is input, black is output. So I like to set up three just because this thing does generate lots of electricity. I think this one's actually still going, and I just put one full uranium rod in there. But yeah, we'll be uh, stealing some power from there in a second. So now that we have our whole system set up, uh, we are going to need to make some uh, uranium. The next thing you're going to need to make your uranium is a centrifuge. This is bronze on the outsides, steel plates in the um, middle, top and bottom, an advanced circuit in the center, and two motors. Um, a little bit expensive, but they're right there. You're going to hook it up to a battery box that has power, or um, you can put a battery in this slot. But anyway, once you get inside of here, you are going to need uranium ore, and you're going to need empty cells. Now uranium ore, obviously you can mine it up, but then for the empty cells, it is it is just tin on the outsides, and that will actually give you eight. So the hardest part is just actually finding the uranium ore. So you're going to put um, the empty cells in, the left, and then uranium ore in the right, and then it will actually start processing your uranium cells. And it does take um, a long time for this um, arrow. To, as you can see, there's a little white spot. That'll take, um, I'm not sure how long, maybe like 10 minutes to reach um, full and make you one of these, a uranium cell. But it does work. It does need power, though. That's the only thing. So as you can see, yeah, it's spinning right there. So yeah, once you get your uranium cell from that, you'll bring it over here. And you'll go to where you can um, interact with your fission reactor. And you're just going to right click. And then it'll automatically go in. And you can see, um, actually, my uh, thermostat is going up. That is showing that the fission reactor is actually working and it is getting to higher temperatures. And then these things will start to spin. And then boom, we have electricity equally distributing in all of these. Which is uh, basically it for right now. So yeah, you can just wait for a while and um, keep on supplying it with your uranium that you find. And boom, you have basically tons of electricity. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is my voltage tutorial for today. Next one is a little upgrade. It's a fusion reactor. It is um, a little bit better than the fission reactor, but that'll be my next full tutorial. So make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already to get uh, updates on when I'm uploading videos. But uh, yeah, anyway, short tutorial on the um, fission reactor. My name is Zerkrojack, and I will see you all next time.